what's up everybody i'm back i'm driving to work and i guess there's something i want to talk about but first we gotta say what's up to my main man dude, like, what's up dude gotta go to work dude gotta go to work dude <sighs> anyway last week i posted a video about sam Harris because i love making these sam Harris videos and they're just nice and easy and you just i'm driving to work to talk about the episode and uh it's easy and fun um monday morning Oh no, not what is today? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, driving to work, and last night listened to the podcast Extreme Housekeeping, in which Sam Harris basically goes on for 45 minutes about social media and Fox and a guy named Ezra Klein and just a series of events of how things can of how disagreements and misunderstandings can start, but also just how media works and you know people maybe take advantage of media a little bit. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to talk about Sam Harris and the drama that he got into with Ezra Klein on his vacation. And here we go. So Sam Harris did a podcast with a guy named Douglas Murray, who back in the mid-90s wrote a book called, I forget what it was called, but it was basically about genetics. And one chapter of the book on genetics was about race and race and IQ and race and other other genetic differences. So, you know, I mean, it's basically saying that we're all different and our intelligence is different, but it's not like it by a significant huge amount, just we're all a little bit different. And that's what the data says. And that's kind of what scientists, if you had to like put a gun to their head and said, sign the dotted line on what you think is true, 99.9% .9 of all scientists or all real scientists would sign that sign. But the problem is, is we live in a world where now conversations are public on social media and you know, some scientists, some scientific stuff is just very, very tough to touch. It'd be like saying uh, uh, somebody from Costa Rica and somebody like a Tibetan, some kid from Tibet. Um, are there genetic differences? Are there intelligence differences? Are there differences to these people as a whole? Or are they blank slates in which, you know, if you just throw the throw the Tibetan in Costa Rica and the Costa, Rica, Costa Rican in Tibetan, they would be the same. Well, something makes me think no matter how hard you tried, that Costa Rican couldn't get to the top of Everest without oxygen. And then also be lugging up hundreds of pounds worth of stuff because rich people pay him to do that. I don't know why. So to me, to me, it seems obvious, but I guess the problem is, is why people focus on that. And then that's even a tougher question, but you know, Sam kind of goes with a, we don't need to study it more, or we don't need to study that kind of attitude. And I'm, I'm like, no, let people study it. It's going to be like, you know, a small group of people like stamp collectors that study it. And maybe they'll be a little bit marginalized, but let people study it anyway. So he did that podcast with Douglas Murray and Douglas Murray, took a lot of crap in the 90s for writing the book and just stating those things. And to a certain extent, it was a witch hunt, M much the same way that we're seeing these days. And Sam Harris then also realized he was part of that witch hunt because, you know, he just assumed where there's smoke, where there's fire, and he avoided reading Murray's book. Anyway, fast forward a bunch of years, they do the podcast, and what's the fallout from doing a, pod a well-intentioned podcast with Douglas Murray? Well, of course, people just say Sam Harris is a racist. And uh, the person leading the charge there is a guy named Ezra Klein, who is the lead publisher of Fox. And to me, seems like the person that that, that tipped that, that, that this guy was the tipping point to the to the hours and hours or thousands of tens of thousands of hours wasted by people after the fact, writing stuff on social media, including the principals themselves, the writers of the article, Ezra Klein and Sam Harris. Like to me, that just seems like such a waste of human resources. But it's media these days, and they wrote an article basically spearing Sam Harris and Douglas Murray as racist and not understanding science, and they had a guy named Turkmeister as the lead writer on the paper that Ezra Klein published, and uh, Turkmeister, and I've never actually heard of him as a scientist, and in general, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, compared to the average person, I know a lot of scientists, and I have never heard of Turkmeister. But I know I would read his article because I've read Vox and think, dude, this guy's a scientist. He's writing like a writer. And I don't know, that maybe I can just tell the difference when, when someone's writing like a writer or someone's writing like a scientist. But either way, Sam Harris was pissed. He wrote an email to Ezra Klein saying, dude, what the hell? They had an email exchange. It ended up going into the ditch. And so they're not going to do a podcast. Sam Harris then 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 publish those emails which was to me this was a mistake because then you're just putting so much meat on the table for for people to sift through and to understand and then to this this put 
if, if we're talking about wasting human time and resources, putting this email up, th this one was, was equivalent to, to wrong as as Ezra Klein getting the ball going down the hill. So to me, they're, now they're 50-50. They're even, even, even Steven in terms of, of uh, just causing problems for no reason. And uh, anyway, putting the emails up, and Sam now thinks he looked bad, and maybe he did. Uh, I didn't read them. So now Sam Harris is like, what the hell am I supposed to do? I was on vacation, made it worse with social media. I've got to remember to turn off Twitter when I'm on vacation, and that's one of those errors that you're only going to do once. And uh, anyway, he made it worse with the emails, and... Now they're going to have the podcast. Now, now, in the end, them having the podcast is probably what, they were, what, what was going to happen anyway. Did did this huge did this uh, did this controversy or that that recently happened? Is it going to help the numbers on that podcast? Yes. So so we have to take even Sam Harris with a grain of salt when we when we read these media kind of these media these media wars and these problems, but. They're going to have the podcast. That'll be very interesting to see, and we'll see if Ezra Klein um, will. We'll see. We'll just see. We'll just see what he says because I read the Vox article, and to a certain extent, they got Sam Harris wrong in a way that I think Ezra Klein knows that they did it. Especially Turkmeister. Um, the, the thing is, they know what they're doing when they when they when they when they, when they stir up the shit because they they're saying politically correct things to make them look bad. Anyway, they know what they're doing, and the reason they're doing it is quite obvious. They're they're what I would call media wolves. They're media wolves, and they and they operate in packs. And all it takes is one strong wolf to to, to survive one attack, and then they'll all come. And Glenn Greenwald was the first one, the first real wolf to go after Sam and survive. And the reason they do that is because Sam Harris. We live in a world now where where it's new media, and everybody has their own audiences. So so if you're on TV. A lot of those audiences are shared, and there's only a certain amount of time in which you can watch the the episodes. Or you, you, there's only a certain amount, amount of time, so like, you know, that's why they had ratings, and like one show could do better than another, but it's different now. So Glenn Greenwald, when he first went after Sam and survived, wanted to get a piece of his audience. He has a very unique podcast audience that he built himself that started with writing books. There's nobody else, I, I don't think, that has... Those people think of it as like a, a tree in in winter, and they, there's maple in there. And what, what Glenn, Glenn Greenwald is doing is saying, "Dude, I'll bet you there's a bunch of maple in there that doesn't. They don't know who I am. Millions of people, full of people. I'm gonna start trying to get that out. I'm gonna pound a little stick in there, and I'm gonna try to get some out for me." They're going after Sam's audience because it's huge and it's his own. Where maybe Glenn Greenwald and somebody else and uh, Reza Al uh, uh, Reza Aslan share. They share audiences so it's skinning the cat twice um sam's it's all his and it's not a cat it's uh well, we'll we'll call sam's audience we'll call it a baby we'll call it a baby panther no 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 we'll call it we'll call it a baby tiger we'll call it a baby tiger it's a cat but it's a baby tiger it's very strong glenn greenwald wanted to get in on that and to, to, as far as i can see somewhat successful so they are so inclined to make him look bad in the media because because they want all those people. And this is just a problem that we see in the future today or 2018 in media, something that you can't foresee is, is, is people operating in a way in which, in which they're doing one thing, but in, in, in reality, they're just trying to, to, to get tons of eyeballs on their account. And Glenn Greenwald, Glenn Greenwald doesn't care if he knows he's lying because his audience won't read into it that much. There's tons of people that, that other media wolves that got us back. That, so no matter what happens with Sam, other people will say, oh, no, Sam's racist. It's obvious. And this is just the result of living in 2018 and doing new media. And Sam Harris loves to complain. And he talks about it. He makes mistakes. And we were all learning at the same time. But Sam is part of the game, too. So don't feel bad for him. This is just the way it goes. And even to a certain extent, by me making this video... I am taking advantage of Sam Harris's audience. I'm making something that that a Sam Harris's audience would find and like. So when they go on YouTube, Sam Harris, maybe they type in Sam Harris or something. Hopefully, maybe my video pops up. We are all playing the same game, and some of us better than others. But Sam Harris, as started as a writer over the years, I mean, I mean, he started in two thousand. Basically, his 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 his. His, his first shine into the intellectual deep end was at Beyond Belief um, conference in, I think, in 2006. 
Uh, but ever since then, he's kind of been doing the media thing. And uh, he turned himself from a writer into what I would consider a top-tier multimedia producer. And he just makes content pieces or he makes media units of entertainment slash information that people like. And over time, he's got a huge audience. Um, Glenn, Re Glenn Greenwald is a, kind of more of a publisher. And, well, he is a publisher. I don't know. It'd be hard to describe the difference. But Sam Harris did it by himself. He is the person making the units of information and entertainment that are interesting, that are unique, that are one of a kind, where Glenn Greenwald is 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 editing and posting articles that mo anyway. Uh, Sam Harris has the goods, and the wolves want in on the action. And Sam Harris is uh, maybe shouldn't. I don't know what he can do to make it better. Um, he's just got to play the game, and he's playing the game now. And you know what? Nobody knows what to do. We'll see how this how this works out, but uh, and how the conversation plays out with Ezra Klein. But you know, Ezra, Sam, everybody's watching, so. Don't waste everybody's time. Let's hope that you guys put meat on the table and actually get somewhere. And it just doesn't make the situation worse. And maybe realize Ezra, because you do realize that you're the main editor of Vox, what you're doing. Admit that you can publish this about Sam because it gets hits. And because Sam's audience is going to come read it. And it's just the way it goes. Anyway, I'm going way too long. Thanks for watching. Sam Harris, keep up the good work. Ezra Klein, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Sam Harris is giving you the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But I read that article, and to me, it seemed a bit irresponsible to publish that, considering there were huge scientific, there mis there's huge misinformation when it comes to science in the article. And you said that was written by a scientist that I had never heard of. Anyway, that that's my biggest problem with the article. Now you got thousands of people reading this thing and thinking it's science, and now we have in our society, everyone's going, oh, everyone loves science all of a sudden, but yet nobody even understands it or how it works. Nobody gets it, but they say they love it. So, so that's why I, my problem with this is the science, the media game. Sam, that is just all fun. That, you know, I'll just get my popcorn and watch. I, my problem is with the science and him and these and these online publishers, just 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 publishing stuff to people that are well intentioned in their love of science but don't get it, because science takes like so long to get because it's because it's not like it's not like something it's not like a talent you're born with like jumping high understanding science is unnatural you have to learn it it takes time ben shapiro if he spent 10 years studying science and learning it could 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 talk with sam harris about science but he didn't do that he was doing he was doing law um i just don't like when people misrepresent science anyway ezra klein i hope you didn't do that thanks for watching i'm gonna be a little late to work let's say bye to ludwig ludwig gotta go to work dude anyway i'll see you guys next time this is way too long.